Welcome to another episode of Trenny and C. I'm Trenny. This is C. Hello. And today we have Ray Daniel with us. Why don't you tell them who you are? I am Beats and Tories American Whiskey Ambassador here in Canada, which means I get to look after all the brands that come out of the James Beaver Distilling Company and Maker's Mark. Some of That's our fun favorite stuff. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, so, and we have some of it behind us. You do you have some. You have some pretty cool ones behind Yeah. Me. Yeah. Oh, it's we've been uh, fans from day one, I think. And um, obviously day one of us, not that. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. And you have some pretty cool stuff in front of us. Yeah, we have the full core lineup of Basil Hayden that's available here in Canada. Uh, Basil Hayden's a really great intro into the world of premium and super premium bourbons. Mm -hmm. Nice and light, super subtle and super approachable without being weak. It still has all those big flavors you want from a bourbon. Yeah. Can I um, pour some of those big flavors? Yes, you know, one I would actually really recommend, we just launched here in Canada our red wine cast finished Basil Ooh, Hayden. Uh, and I'm kind of obsessed with it lately, so. Oh, cool. If you can see that. <laughs> if we, you can't, you'll have to go get a bottle for yourself. Yeah. Have you guys decided to make belt buckles yet? Because this is an amazing I have put many requests belt in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see how that one goes. Yeah, definitely uh, the, the packaging style of this stuff is is really catchy in the store. Yeah, like we, we changed it up a couple of years ago just yeah. to make it look a little bit more kind of sleek and especially as a lineup on a shelf. And yeah, right. it looks really, really cool. Because it, it used to have this kind like of a paper thing. Like yeah, it was a paper label. Yeah, right? it used to have that kind of robe and belt looking yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which was great for like the first 30 years. But yeah. No, it looks, it looks great. Up, right? Right? Time and to change it up. Yeah. Look at the color on that too. So red wine cast. Right? Red wine cast. All California. Red I'm wine gonna casks. walk up to the camera. You can yeah, keep talking. For sure. Sorry. Uh, you said all California. All, all California red wine casts. Um, we do a pretty mm. short maturation on it, so it doesn't leach a ton of um, that wine flavor in, and all of a sudden it starts to taste like wine. We still make sure we're kind of maintaining that bourbon integrity. Right. And this okay. has that like sweet, candied little bit it's almost like candied nuts or something like it's so like nice yeah mm. yeah and there is that nice kind of bright mm. fresh oh for sure some brown sugars kind of thing it's there's a lot going on in the nose in this yeah this yeah you nice. can take you can take your time with this one for sure it does it's one of those uh, whiskeys that's really really good just to kind of sit and savor mm -hmm. the smell as opposed to diving right into the taste for sure there's there's times when i love a whiskey the most is when i'm kind of not completely paying attention and yeah. i'm like watching tv or something like just that and then you all dram. of a sudden catch something that you catches off guard a little bit you know it's, yeah, it's the ones that you forget to drink yeah because you're too busy smelling <laughs> yeah it, right? totally yeah even some kind of like a like a light cherry-ish kind of that ooh, cherry yeah fruit, for sure right? yeah and, and we got to taste it now okay let's try it cheers one mm -hmm. oh wow oh that's good a little bit of that um that back palate nuttiness but it's really just well rounded yeah it's, and like it's kind soft. of that, that traditional beam nuttiness but i get the wine at, at like the end of the palate then. yeah like yeah. It, it opens up a little bit more as your breath starts to come a little bit more and, gonna, and it even it drinks a little bit bigger than 40 too 100 like percent. that's one thing that we've really worked out we, we always want to keep basil hayden around about 40 percent mm -hmm. mm -hmm. but we don't ever want it to feel like a weak bird yeah it, right? it's, so. it's Highly crushable, as, yeah. as we like to say. Yes, yeah. Some people say approachable. And things <laughs> yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. Drink responsibly. <laughs> yeah. Well, mm. thank you so much for bringing these by. We really appreciate it. Oh, my absolute pleasure, man. Are we going to yeah. talk a bit about? Uh... Do, do you want to go into in, any more depth about the portfolio? Or sure, yeah. I mean, I can give you kind of the, the quick Coles notes on, on each expression. Yeah, absolutely. So on the left hand side here, we have our standard offering Basil Hayden. This is the one that was released in 1992. Uh, by our sixth generation master distiller Booker No, mm. um, this is definitely leaning more towards that traditional high rye style bourbon. Uh, next up, we have Basil Hayden Toast, which is our brown mm. rice bourbon. So instead of using rye as our flavoring grain, we're using brown rice as our flavoring grain, and it kind of acts slightly like an acidic grain. So it's going to mm. give some slightly kind of pastry sweetness, but also has yeah. this really cool, rich, earthy, and floral kind of quality. That's finished in toasted mm. barrels. So you're going to get a lot of butterscotch in Oh, I can't wait to get into that. Yeah. Uh, in the middle of here, we have our Basil Hayden 10-year-old, which we release one time a year. Uh, we're looking at the same mash bill as our standard offering, just a few more years in the barrel. Mm. Um, this is going to lean a little bit more towards kind of those stone fruit flavors and a little bit more kind of Chantilly vanilla as opposed to your very straight vanilla pod mm. in this. And it won't have as much of the spice as the original offering. Uh, the red wine cask we just went through, mm -hmm. and our uh, dark rye, which I mean, this one has been such a, a huge bump for us at Basil Hayden mm -hmm. because it's one of those ones that is so unique and so different. Everybody just seems to love, 
Ah, you want to talk about crushable whiskeys? Mm. This is the crushable whiskey. <laughs> so we have a blend of two ryes in here. One from our distillery in Kentucky. One from Alberta Distillers out oh, in Calgary. Cool. Ooh. So we have that you know sweet American rye, spicy Canadian rye. Yeah. And there's some port style wine blended in there as well. Ooh, so nice. You get that, that real great. juicy red fruit, stewed red fruit currant. Uh, it's super unique flavor and really, really interesting and fun to work with. Well, thank you so That's much amazing. for sharing. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you guys for having yeah. me. Jesus. Cheers. Okay. Cheers.